a very perplexing situation in our communities today, specifically about the issue and the topic of marriage, is interracial marriages, intercultural marriages, where, you know, you have, you know, two individuals from different backgrounds, ethnically speaking, and maybe cult different cultural backgrounds, maybe not so much their culture, but in terms of their parents' cultures or their families' cultures. And it's a very perplexing situation because um, obviously it's permissible in Islam and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. In fact, it's one of the least of the considerations that should be there in place after all so many more important things in terms of deen and religion and compatibility and um, character and financial situation and so on and so forth. But I say that it's perplexing because obviously for a lot of parents, particularly immigrant parents, it's just a huge hang up and they just cannot get past it. And younger people growing up here in the States, growing up in a very diverse community, um, who have more of an American identity than anything else than any Pakistani or Moroccan or Egyptian or Syrian identity, um, just aren't compelled by it at all. They don't see the significance of it at all. So you have two completely different parties trying to find a middle ground here, and neither one sees any credence to the other's idea. And hence, you have people like me in the middle, where basically you have an imam uh, in a community who is basically caught in the middle because you're everybody's imam. So now the parents are coming to you and basically saying, talk to him or talk to her. And I'm sitting there looking like, talk to him or her about what? I don't see the problem here. And then the young people are coming and saying like, you know what? Forget about my parents with or without them. This is happening. And I'm like, look, I understand that's your right to marry whoever you want to marry, and I understand your frustrations, but I'm not sure you're thinking this through all the way where you're basically willing to completely toss away and throw away all your relationships and who you are for, you know, for, for something that you're not even completely sure about yet. So there you are kind of stuck in the middle, caught between these two worlds. And I've had some of the most interesting experiences. I've had the experience where young person wants to marry somebody of a completely different ethnic cultural background, completely set on this fact, come, you know, no matter what happens, this is happening. And I, you know, fight and scratch and claw and scream my way to finally getting the parents on board, only to have the young person kind of flake out. And yeah, I'm just standing there just still trying to make sense of the situation. On the flip side, I've also had the situations where the young people are thinking straight and the parents are being completely illogical and irrational. I've had a situation where I had doors slammed in my face uh, from the parents that I'm trying to talk some sense into in my community. I've had plates you know, thrown at me by a very, very angry mother. I've had fathers come and curse me out at the top of their lungs in the masjid. Um, when I'm not trying to get their kids married to whoever they're getting married to, I really don't care who they marry. Um, but it's just the reality that, because I'm just answering their question, the parents come to me and say, he wants to marry her or she wants to marry him. And I'm like, and there's not a problem with that. So it's a very, very perplexing situation which really requires a lot of not just conversation, but requires a lot of education. And um, those are the types of serious conversations and discussions that we want to address intelligently, not just from the sacred Islamic sources, but also from what you know, marriage uh, professionals and what mental health professionals and what folks in you know, marriage and family counseling are basically teaching us, that bringing these two perspectives together to know how to navigate these situations and make sure to the best of our ability that the outcome of such a situation is a happy, healthy marriage and an overall happy, healthy, extended family.